Hey guys, this is Abhishek from GadgetShoes.com and today we are going to do a quick hands-on review and unboxing of Volo Q3000 tablet. This tablet which we have seen previously from Volo, it is already there in the market for quite some time now. This tablet is now available for a price of 18,000 rupees approximately, whereas it was launched at 21,000 rupees in the market. Now we have this tablet with us, and I'm going to do the review just because because this tablet is much more affordable and a pretty good machine actually, a pretty good uh, phone plus tablet uh, form factor which you can buy for a price of 18,000 rupees. So let's take a look what we have in the package. This is how the package looks like. At the back side of the package, we have the specification mentioned. It has got the 1.5 gigahertz MediaTek 6589 Turbo Quad Core processor. You have Power VR HTX 544 MP GPU and then we have display of 5.7 inch which is full high definition display ips lcd display it has you have 386 pixels per inch as you can see and one handed operation is also supported you have 2 gb of ddr2 ram 16 gb of internal memory and you do have micro sd memory card as slot as well to expand the storage of the device however the micro sd memory card does not come within the package you have so you have 13 megapixel of autofocus camera at the rear uh, with bsi 2 sensor and you have 5 megapixel front camera which is a fixed focus camera with bsi plus sensor so the low light photo should be good from the rear camera as well as from the front camera as it has indicated that and you can record high definition video from the rear camera from the front we will tell you uh, at what resolution you can do that and then when it comes to otg you do have usb otg feature supported you have accelerometer, gyroscope, magnetometer sensor, ambient light sensor, proximity sensor as well on this device. And then we have the frequencies at which this phone actually supports when it comes to 3G and 2G. And you have 4000 mAh lithium ion battery which should be good to give the overall backup to this phone. And we have tested the phone for like more than a week now and I can tell you that backup as well. We will tell you about it later. So let's unbox it and the first thing which we have in the package is the device itself which is the Zolo Q3000 this is a tablet 5.7 inch pretty big phone to hold in one hand although it does not look like a cheap phone in terms of the overall build quality it looks pretty good however the back side is again rubberized matte finish back cover a plastic back cover which can be removed and the battery can also come out and the front looks pretty good because it has got an IPS LCD display so the wing angles are slightly better as compared to the other phones which we have seen so wing angles are pretty good I would say you can view the screen from extreme angles without any issues uh, you have a 13 megapixel camera at the rear with LED flash and you have a secondary microphone as well. The loudspeaker mesh is actually over here on this side and again because of this placement of the loudspeaker it might get blocked at times but again it will not get blocked completely whenever you place this device like this on a table. On the top on the front you have the nice metal gear piece the uh, LED notification light as well and the proximity and emit light sensor and here you have the front camera which is a 5 megapixel camera. On the bottom you have the test capacity button which are there within the body of the phone not within the display. At the back side at the bottom you have the microphone slot as well the primary microphone. On this side you have the power and sleep key which is a plastic button gives you a good amount of feedback. Over here you have the volume rocker which is again a plastic button gives you a good amount of feedback. And again uh, both of these keys can be easily accessed whenever you hold this device either in left or right hand. So let me just remove the back cover to show you the phone from the back side so here we have the huge 4000 milliampere battery on this device which is a lithium polymer ion battery looks pretty good pretty big i would say and again this device can also give you pretty good battery backup because of this battery around one to two days of battery backup you can get 1.5 days to two days is something which you can easily get on this device with moderate usage and again you have the micro sd card slot to expand the storage of the device you have a sim card slot 2 which will accept a micro sim whereas the sim card slot 1 which support 3g will accept a normal size sim card so these are the things about the phone let's talk about the overall form factor of the phone and before we go ahead with the phone let's take a look what we have in the package so this is how the package looks like apart from the phone you also get a flip cover inside the package as you can see looks pretty good not too great in terms of the build quality i would say but again pretty nice uh, you have proper cutout for the camera and other things as well for the loudspeaker as well there is proper cutout and you do have a cutout for the LED flash as well we will show this phone to you uh, 
after fitting it inside and you have this adhesive tape which can be removed so that you can actually attach this phone to your uh, basically attach this part to your uh, phone at this side you don't have to remove the back cover it will be like this so once you attach this slip cover this is how the overall uh, form factor will look like as you can see there is no cutout for the LED flash uh, so the cutout for the LED flash is there but it is seem it seems to be blocking it to a certain extent the loudspeaker mesh is not completely big so it is again not very good in terms of the cutout I would say but again you do have this kind of a option that if you actually attach it like this only this part will keep on sticking with it and then you can have it like this so you can actually uh, slant it at a specific angle especially whenever you are watching movies on the go you do have OTG supported on this device and the front will be protected you have a proper cutout for the earpiece and then at this side there is no blockage for the ports and other things and when it comes to this side there is no blockage for the ports uh, especially the micro USB port which is actually on the top for data syncing and charging and you have a 3.5mm audio jack as well so taking a look over the other things which we have in the package we also get an additional screen guard uh, there is one screen guard which will come pre installed on this device which we have already removed but you can always apply the second screen guard which does come within the package and apart from this if we take a look uh, let's take a look what we have in the package apart from this so you have a charger a universal usb charger and the output current from this charger is one ampere and again we have an otg cable which also come within the package which is part of the package looks good and you have a micro usb cable which we don't need to open a standard one and here we have the headphones and let me just show you the headphone first of all so headphones is something which i have not tested till now but again in this review later on in the later part of this review i will tell you about the headphones as well you get standard headphones within the package which is again not too good considering this device is actually 18,000 rupees in the market you get standard headphones whereas they could have given the in-ear headphones this is how the audio lead look like you do have a module over here with which you can actually control the voice call so you can take a call using this button you have a microphone as well but you do not have any buttons to control the volume so these are all the things which we have in the package uh, we do have some user manuals and warranty guide as well so this is all about the package so let's keep all the things in the package aside and let's take a look over the phone now so here we have the Zolo Q 3000 tablet pretty good tablet I would say uh, in terms of the overall form factor and the kind of uh, value for money this tab uh, this tablet or phone plus tablet provides you is pretty good uh, you have stock Android running on this device so the UI is very less customized in terms of the icons apart from which uh, everything looks like stock android on this phone so there is no customization the ui is snappy there is no lag of any kind let me just show you the settings first of all so this is how the notification center look like and it seems to be running android 4.2.2 so let's take a look over the version of android so it is running android 4.2 2.1 jelly bean out of the box which is good and again you do have system update option as well to update the version of android on this device with ota so there is ota already available for the device which which i can download right now and it is going on in the background apart from this uh, if we take a look over the storage scenario this device offers you 16 gb of internal storage as of now the default write disk is actually selected as phone storage however with the help of the micro sd card slot in in case you insert a micro sd card into this device you can actually install applications on the micro sd card and you can move them from the phone memory to the sd card as well so the internal rom is around 0.97 gb out of and system is around 2.30 gb the user available memory on the device out of 16 gb will be 12.83 and again this is going to be the total scenario however as of now the current available is 11.61 gb we have installed certain applications and games as well so 12 gb approximately you will get on the 16 gb variant of this phone again it is only available in the 16 gb variant only so as far as display is concerned here we have the display settings and you do have support for automatic brightness as well and wallpaper when it comes to wallpapers you have support for live wallpaper static wallpapers video wallpaper by default are not supported you do have support for GPS navigation as well on this device as you can see 
so you can use this device for gps navigation you just need to turn on gps satellite option and make sure to enable the gps epo assistance as well uh, and assisted gps before you can use this device for navigation because both of these options will be required to be checked so that you have a gps lock quickly as far as the application scenario is concerned you have 2 gb of ram on this device and let me just show you the current scenario so the device is kind of idle we are not running too many applications in the background so as of now around 1.1 gb of ram is free out of 2 gb and 817 mb is being used which is again pretty good and device is definitely kind of responsive responsive and fast enough you do have audio profile settings as well under which you will find the option to enhance the audio from the earphones so you can check this option in case you would like to have but so i just tried the headphones and the overall sound which comes out from the headphones is not too great but again it is uh, pretty okay i would say but in ear headphones could have been a better uh, option if we can get that uh, with this phone but as of now you will not get the in ear headphones within the package you will only get the standard headphones so apart from this if we take a look uh, over the other things you do have support for dual sim management as well because you have two sim cards supported on this device and if we take a look over the language and input settings and taking a look over the android keyboard which we have on this device it does not support continuous input or swipe to type that is something which we can tell you and let's take a look over the phone dialer now so this is how the phone dialer looks like as you can see you do have an option for making a video call directly to the, from the phone dialer which is a pretty good thing you have the messaging application over here and again the messaging application and the phone dialer is kind of stock android in terms of the overall look and feel there is no customization which we can see and you do not have continuous input supported on this device however you can install third party keyboards in case you would like to have swipe to type supported but again in terms of the overall keyboard the keyboard is pretty big to type with there is no problem you can easily type on this device without any issues so that is not a problem at all the overall design of this uh device is kind of big however it looks like another volo phone nothing unique in terms of the overall design but uh, the kind of build quality it has as far as the front display is concerned or the back cover is concerned is pretty good i would say and again this is a pretty heavy uh device to hold in one hand however we are not sure about the exact weight but it is around 160 to 170 gram in terms of the overall weight which uh which is the kind of weight range which we can tell you as of now again we don't know the exact weight of this device but it it feels slightly heavy because of the big display and big size but again you will get used to it once you start using it as far as the thickness is concerned the thickness of this device is around 8.9 mm which is again pretty good not too thick not too thin as well so okay in that department as far as the overall form factor of this device is concerned this device is pretty big so it might be difficult for you to actually uh, move this device in, into your jeans pocket or trouser pocket at times because this is pretty big in size but you will get used to it as far as the size is concerned in case you are looking for a device of this kind of display size you will have to live with it So here we have the camera UI and again as you can see the camera UI has the option of auto focus as well it will automatically focus on the object which is there in the center you can take photos with tap to focus as well and you can also use tap to focus on this device you do have HDR HDR mode supported beautification mode is also there you have panorama mode multi angle view shot is also there all these shots are supported within this UI here we have the photo settings the photo settings allow you to have zero shutter delay on you can do that you do have continuous shot supported up to 99 shots maximum can be taken let me just take it to the normal mode so that we can access all these settings so in the normal mode you can see that maximum shots when it comes to bust mode is 99 shots 13 megapixel is the maximum picture size preview is full screen as of now video settings as Uh, we have is electronic electronic image stabilization can be turned on in case you would like to turn it on you do have video quality which is set to fine which is 1080p and high it will record 720p so taking a look over the front camera let me just show you the view from the front camera so this is how the view will look like from the front camera the front camera is pretty good i would say not too great but again it can do a pretty good quality of video chat however there are some kind of grains which i can notice within the video stream which is being broadcasted from the front camera but it is it looks pretty good the kind of clarity it offers is also pretty good not too great but it does have okay does it have auto focus or not so it looks like it might have auto focus but again it is not working it is a fixed focus camera but again they have provided the ui in such a way that it looks like an auto focus camera but it is not an auto focus camera so let me just toggle back to the rear camera and let me just take a photo again of my iphone 
with uh, artificial light and without artificial light so this is the one which I will take with artificial light and let me just turn off this light so that we can take the photo again again we are taking this photo as if now in an indoor room with some artificial light and this is the one which has been taken without the light it looks pretty good I would say the kind of camera quality it has is really nice I can see the color being reproduced pretty nicely uh, as well as the details again are not that great but again they are better in this one so as you can see this is slightly a better photo I would say in terms of details it is not that great because I shook the camera accidentally while taking the shot so that that could be the reason let me just take the shot again so that I can show you the actual thing uh, okay let me just take this photo again so we have taken the photo again let me just show you this one so this one looks pretty good in terms of the details as well as you can see and in terms of colors it is looking good so both the low light shot and the shot with artificial light looks pretty good in terms of colors in terms of details the low light shot definitely is not that great but the overall camera quality seems to be pretty good now here we have the browser the browser on the device is stock android and again there is no problem as far as browsing is concerned kinetic scrolling is pretty smooth there is no problem which pinch to zoom as well but again it is not that fluid which we have experienced on some of the other lg and samsung phones so it looks good but again it is not that smooth you do have double tap to zoom also supported uh, which does work and panning is also pretty smooth there is no problem as far as text is concerned the text is rendered pretty nicely and crisp and clear on this display again if you actually read a document with large amount of text on this display that is also going to be rendered pretty nicely because this has high definition display and the pixel density of the display is also pretty good around 386 pixel density you get on this display which is pretty decent for a, for this much of display size so again on Intu2 we have not got a very impressive score but again this is how the score will look like for this hardware and this is the average score for this MediaTek 6589 turbo chipset. Uh, the score is 15126 and it is in between Google Nexus 4 and Samsung Galaxy S2 but uh, S4. So not S4 but S2. So in terms of the overall performance I would like to say that this device is pretty good in day to day usage there is no problem. If you actually ignore this benchmark score the overall performance of this device is really good that is something I can say. Uh, but again in comparison it might not be that great if you compare it with other devices. Let's take a look over the hardware details through the quadrant standard. So we do have quadrant standard install as well on this device and let's take a look over the system information. So the model number is Q3000 and it has got ARMv7 processor clocked at 1.5 GHz quad core CPU MediaTek 6589 turbo chipset and then we have the power vrs 544 mp GPU the resolution is 1920 into 1080 as you can see and taking a look over the sensors we have all the important sensors which should be there on a smartphone of this time uh, 3axis accelerometer sensor is there proximity light gyroscope orientation you also have magnetic field sensor so GPS navigation is also going to be precise and it will work perfectly fine on this device and we have tried, tried that as well you do have gravity sensor acceleration and corrected gyroscope sensor as well so in terms of hardware everything is pretty good on this device let's take a look over the Nina mark score as well on this device so the Nina mark score which we have got on this device is not too great uh, we have got a score of 33.9 fps which is the score which we have got on this device and this device is pretty good in terms of playing any kind of graphic intensive game like casual or medium but in terms of high graphic high graphic intensive games like Mount combat 4 or nova 3 you can run those games as well and uh, on this device but again uh, they might lag at times uh, but again you do have the option of installing applications and games as well on the SD card which is again going to help you a lot but again the gaming performance is kind of average that is something which we can say we are also going to play some games on this device so that you can see the actual thing but in terms of overall gaming performance this is kind of average not too great in terms of the overall performance as well so now we are playing temple and OZ which is a casual game and to test the overall performance the graphics are not very smooth I would say but they are decent to play this game the touch screen is responsive there is no problem I can see the shadow of the player pretty fine as well but again the graphics are not very smooth that is something I can say uh, when we play this game and because of that uh, the touch screen response uh, may not be that good but again 
the touch screen is pretty good there is no problem as far as response is concerned but the cause of the graphic lag or some kind of frame drop which you can easily notice uh, the gaming is not too smooth as of now but again it will get smoother once you play this game for twice or thrice on this device in all i would say this is pretty good the sensor on the device is also working well the gravity sensor is also working well so now we are playing this game called frontline commando d-day and in terms of graphic it is not that is very smooth and so the game is running smoothly now and again uh so the game is running fine now and uh, i actually accidentally skipped it so that is why it uh, get paused in terms of the overall graphics the graphics are pretty good uh, not that bad but i am having some problem in aiming the shot because the touch screen controls are not very responsive and sensitive but still it is working that is something i can say uh because it takes time to actually shift the focus and actually to aim and then shot now it worked i can easily see some frame drops while playing this game in all the performance is okay but not that great that is something i can tell you but you can play this game on this device that is something which is more important but the gaming experience may not be that smooth so now we are playing this high definition video from our channel as you can see uh, the wing angles while watching this video which is playing from youtube are pretty good i can see from extreme angles it is playing in high definition quality on this high definition display and it is playing in full screen as you can see there is no black bar top or bottom or on the light left or right and when it comes to the sound let me just increase the sound to full so the sound is full and again it is not very loud uh, which i actually expected from this device and if you place the device like this on a table the sound will get muffled it will not get blocked but it will get muffled whenever you place it on a table like this because the loudspeaker is actually at the back side in all the device is good but the loudness of the sound which comes out from the device especially while playing a video is not that high it does have an led notification light and you also have otg functionality as well which is supported on the device so you can use an otg flash drive on the go to watch movies on the go you don't have to transfer them to the device to watch them when it comes to the overall battery backup it will give you around uh, 1.5 to 2 days of battery backup which is pretty good and i'm very happy with the overall backup this device actually gave me as far as voice calls are concerned the voice calls are pretty clear uh, especially with uh, good signal but if you have low signal areas you might see some kind of a problem but that will not happen all the time uh, that will be very occasional so in all i would like to give a thumbs up to this device uh, in terms of the overall review uh, this is a pretty nice device good uh, device with this much uh, price value which is around 18000 rupees and you get around 5.7 inch of full high definition display the viewing angles are good the overall video playback seems to be pretty good the loudspeaker is not that loud but it is decent again you can use in ear headphones with this device because the standard headphones are actually supplied within the package however i was expecting i was expecting the in ear headphones in all i would like to give a thumbs up to this device the camera performance is definitely good the front camera is also good as well so do let us know if you have any specific question for the zolo q3000 this is a pretty decent device till now it is already available in the market for quite some time now we have done the review quite late but this is a pretty good value for money as of now if you go and buy from the market do let us know if you have any specific question for this device we would love to help you you can like this video this video help you by clicking the like button below you can subscribe to our youtube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below thanks for watching this video this is abhishek signing off thank you